This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. General Michael Hayden, the former director of the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, and the former director of the NSA, the National Security Agency, retweeted, quote, tweeted a tweet uh, where the original poster said, should Tommy Tuberville be removed from his committee? And he retweeted it with this stupid tweet where he said, how about the human race? Uh, It was a stupid tweet. It absolutely communicates in a sideways way that maybe Tommy Tuberville shouldn't be alive. It is the same thing that I bitch about with Donald Trump and other Republicans, and we should not accept it. But it is what it is. It is an offhanded remark from a 78-year-old dude who doesn't have some cult-like following who are ready to carry out his orders in a violent manner. That's just the way it is. And Tommy Tuberville, being the whiny Karen that he is, called the cops. The most military man the world has ever seen, Tommy Tuberville. He called the cops. And he issued a statement. First, um, let's let's take a look generally at this statement from Tommy Tuberville. At the bottom here, Coach Tommy Tuberville, U.S. Senator for Alabama, even though he's a resident of Florida. So I'm going to read... Tommy Tuberville's statement here, and I want you to pay particular attention to the hypocrisy of this, that now that this call for violence, sideways as it might be, has landed on his front door, Tommy Tuberville is outraged. Nary a word about Donald Trump's calls to violence. Nary a word about Donald Trump calling for the execution of the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, nothing. Nothing from the Tuberville. But when it lands on his doorstep, all of a sudden, oh my God, everyone should stop what they're doing and pay attention to me. This is a statement. This morning, my office was made aware of a statement, tweet, made by General Michael Hayden calling for a politically motivated assassination. That's a stretch. But I'll, we'll give him that. This statement is disgusting and it is repugnant to everything we believe in as Americans. Tommy Tuberville is now telling us what it means to be an American and what it means and how we should think as Americans. The protector and defender and promoter of the insurrection against the United States has a lock on what it is to be an American. Given General Hayden's long career in Washington, he must have known that by making such a statement, he was committing a serious crime. His own efforts today to reinterpret what he said are only a tacit admission of guilt. If we still have a non-political justice system in this country, then General Hayden will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. My office has reported this incident to the Capitol Police, and I expect they will once again do an excellent job protecting members of Congress and bringing criminals to justice. Kenya, how do you wade through without hip boots this bullshit from Tommy Tuberville? The statement continues, uh, I am not aware of a single Democrat member of Congress who has condemned this reckless statement. This deafening silence tells us everything we need to know about Democrats and their commitment to our democracy in quotes for some reason. In fact, Democrats have only continued to attack me by name today. Sadly, General Hayden is just the latest in a long line of Washington leftists who have engaged in reckless rhetoric against me the past few months. This must stop and it must stop now. To categorize Michael Hayden, the director, former director of the CIA and NSA as a leftist means you are a dipshit 
Tommy Tuberville. I'll say it again for those in the back of the room. Tommy Tuberville is a f***ing dipshit. Was this irresponsible and stupid on the part of General Michael Hayden? Yes. Was it a, a, a call for political assassination? Do you think if General Hayden was attempting to, to have uh, Tommy Tuberville assassinated, he'd go to Twitter to rally the troops? Do you think he would find his assassin on Twitter? Is that what you think, Tommy Tuberville? Because if so, again, you are a f***ing idiot. General Hayden presided over some of the biggest failures in the history of American intelligence, such as the September 11th attacks and the lack of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Further, General Hayden actively participated in... So what is this? Do you want him prosecuted? Then stay on message, Tommy Tuberville and Team Tuberville. So you go into maligning his character and his job performance over the years as though that has anything to do with his, his calling for your assassination. And then it wraps with, I am a conservative and a Republican. We know fascist f Tommy Tuberville. We know who and what you are. I'm a conservative and a Republican, but above all, I am an American who cares about this country and is deeply concerned for its future. I am not a politician. You are exactly that. You ran for a political position. You were elected to a political position. You're a politician, idiot. And when I came to Washington, I did not expect to be popular around the clown show, but I certainly did not expect to be lied about on the Senate floor and threatened by former government officials like Michael Hayden. Anyone who actually cares about our country must go on the record and condemn his reckless statements. United States Senator Tommy Tuberville. I'll go on the record and condemn his statements. It was stupid. I don't know about reckless, but it was stupid. It is absolutely a sideways uh, reference to violence. Sure. And you're not going to hear me be a hypocrite. If I call it out on one side, I'm going to call it out on the other. But you called the cops, bro. I get death threats on the reg at least one a week. And I call the cops infrequently, only when I feel like it's a credible threat. You called the cops at the first tweet. Mr. Traditionally Masculine Tommy Tuberville, the most military man, macho dude, football coach. Fucking idiot. I am not apologizing for my invectives. Tommy Tuberville by any objective measure, is a f***ing idiot. And I will continue to say so. Telling me, telling us, telling America what, it, what being an American is about while supporting January 6th insurrectionists, while continuing to support Donald Trump a man who worked tirelessly to end democracy in America. Shut the f*** up, idiot. What do you think if you are displeased with the invectives? I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you can call and leave me a brief voicemail, though. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you want to support my work, if the invectives aren't too much for you and you appreciate what I do, please consider supporting my work. Click the join button below. Become a channel member for $2 a month. You can hit the super thanks button or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt a podcast. After all of that, if you want to see me use invectives on Twitter, which I do frequently, uh, you can follow me there. Twitter, Instagram, threads, TikTok, Facebook, all of them at dollamore is where you can find me and I'd love to see you there. I will see you next time. I'll even see you, Tommy Tuberville. Be genuine. Take care of one another.